Hello, this is Kate with Paint It Kate, and today we are painting a cat drinking coffee. Super cute, and it's actually a really easy painting when you break it down step by step. The first thing we're gonna need if you wanna paint this cat drinking coffee is a 12 by 12 canvas. Unless you don't wanna paint on canvas, if you don't have a canvas at home, you can always follow along with paper. And when we get to the paint part, you can color with crayons, markers, whatever you have on hand. But if you're painting on canvas, I like to use acrylic paint. I use the Michaels brand Artist Loft, but you can use any brand that you like. I start with the primary colors, red, yellow, and blue, to mix all of my colors. I also have white and black to make my colors lighter and darker. I always start with pencil and eraser, just in case we make mistakes, and then I trace and sharpie. And when we are ready to get started painting, you will need a paper towel and a water cup to wash off your brushes. And brushes, I like to have a big brush, a big flat brush for the background, um, big areas of paint, puts the paint on really fast, and then a couple detail brushes as well. Let's get started. All right, we're ready to get started with pencil and eraser and a clean canvas. I'm gonna start with our cat's head. It's gonna be round. So here, I'm just getting the top of the head put on. And cats have triangle ears, so I'm putting two big triangles on top of this cat's head. And inside those big triangles, I'm gonna put two little triangles. That's the little pinky inside ear. Cats have an upside down triangle nose. And here's two eyes, one, two. And we are ready for the mouth. That's a swoop to the left and a swoop to the right. And let me get those pupils in those eyes. There we go. And I'm putting a little stripe down the face. And here is the scarf. The scarf's gonna be curved at the bottom because it's going around the cat's neck. Here's the side of the left arm and the little inner arm, side of the right arm, little inner arm. And I'm gonna put big paws on this cat to hold his coffee. So here's one paw, three little fingers on these paws. And now I'm ready for our coffee cup. So the handle's gonna go around the arm of our cat. And here's the side of the cup and a big oval for the inside of the cup. And there's our coffee. Now we need a bottom to our cup. There we go. And here's the side of our cat's body. And a nice long cat tail. All right, the end of the scarf. We gotta have an end of the scarf on here. And I like to put stripes on my scarf, but you can get fancy with this. You can put hearts or smiley faces or Christmas trees or polka dots, whatever you decorate this scarf with. There we go. We are all set and ready to Sharpie. Now, I like to Sharpie all of my paintings before I start with the paint. And that is so that our um, lines are very solid and when we start painting, it's not gonna erase. If we start painting over pencil line, it erases our pencil and we cannot see our sketch. So I like a nice, clean Sharpie line over everything on our sketch. Right, we are finishing up with our Sharpie and we are almost ready to paint. There we go. All right, so as you can see, I've got our primary colors, red, yellow, blue, and white and black too. We're gonna mix some white and blue together to make a nice light blue for our snowy background. So here's our sky. I'm using a nice big flat brush because our background is so big on this painting, it is gonna take us a while to fill in our light blue sky. So work with your big brush if you've got one. All right, so we're finishing up our sky, just getting into all the little nooks and crannies. If you wanna put a second coat on this, you can, and you'll see less brush strokes. I'm wiping off my brush and my paper towel. If you wanna rinse it off too, you can. Just make sure you have a nice, clean, and dry brush before we get started with our cat color. So my cat is gonna be a gray cat. I'm mixing some white and some black together to make a nice medium gray. I don't want it to be too dark. 
um, or it will be hard to see our Sharpie lines through it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just, maybe it's half and half white and black, maybe a little less black. But when you get a nice gray that you like, we're gonna go ahead and start putting this gray on the sides of the cat's arms. So I take it, yep, all the way up. The arms, also the face, and the sides of the face. And around the eyes, around the bottom of the chin, up around this eye. And I'm still using my big brush. If you wanna to switch to a smaller brush to get around those eyes and into all these little spots, you can switch to a smaller pointy brush. Sometimes that's easier to work with when you are on an animal's face and having to get around all these little details. So after you're done with your face, you're gonna take the same color. We've got it on one arm. We are going to go ahead and get started. Yeah, make sure I got it. Yep, all the way down to the paw. Now the paws aren't gonna be gray. I'm actually gonna do a fun color on those cat's paws. So fill in the rest of the other arm. And oh, I almost forgot. I gotta get the outside of the ears. Those are also gonna be the same color, this medium gray, so I'll get in there. And the sides of the cat's body, I'm gonna make these the medium gray color, but I'm gonna leave some white here because I'm gonna change up my color a bit for the belly. So take this medium gray up the tail. Here we go. And now I'm gonna take my medium gray and actually add some white to it to make a lighter shade of gray. This gray is gonna be for the cat's belly. So we're gonna fill in the cat's belly and also this stripe down the middle of the cat's face that goes down and touches the nose. So all these areas between the arms and then also the center of the belly, I'm gonna fill in with this medium gray. Fill it all the way in. And then I kind of like to blend these two colors together. So sometimes what I do is I'll go back and forth between the medium gray and the lighter gray and just pull those colors together, blend, 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 move your brush in between the colors and so that there's not a hard line. It's kind of a soft line between the dark gray and the lighter gray. So just blend, blend, blend. There we go. Now I wanna make an even lighter gray, adding more white to our light gray, and this is for around the mouth. And if you cover up your Sharpie lines, no big deal. Don't worry about it because we will put those back on with an outline later. Now moving on to my scarf, I'm gonna make green for my scarf. So that's yellow and blue. And sometimes I add a little bit of white just to make it a little bit less thin. Thickens it up a little bit, makes it nice and solid. And I'm gonna paint every other stripe green. But again, on your scarf, you can make it any color that you want. So if you don't wanna do green, you wanna do pink or purple or orange or any color that you want, the only color I would not recommend for the scarf would be the gray that we already have on our cat. And don't do it blue either because then the scarf will look kind of invisible against the sky. I'm gonna fill in every other stripe of my scarf with this beautiful green. And in between colors, make sure that you always wipe off your brush. So I'm gonna actually make this coffee cup green as well. Tie the two colors together. Got our green. And now I gotta start thinking about a new color. All right, I switched to a smaller brush, and that's to get into the teeny tiny little details that are hard to get to with the big brush. And now I got, since I have this little brush, I'm gonna go ahead and make some touch-ups here to my cat. And for the back lip of the coffee cup, I'm gonna change it up a little bit just so it looks like a different color than the front part of the cup. So I added a little blue to my green. Now my second stripe color is gonna be orange. That's just yellow and red. But again, you can use any colors that you want. So now I'm gonna fill in the rest of my stripes with some orange using my big brush, but I'm probably gonna switch to a smaller brush to get into these little teeny tiny corners of the scarf.
And now that my scarf is all filled in, I'm gonna finish off my cup with some more orange. Cleaning off my brush. So I'm ready for our next color. Now I'm gonna make my cat's eyes green. Sometimes I make cat's eyes yellow though. So they can be yellow, green, they can really be any color that you want. And now I'm ready to make my brown. The best way to mix brown for coffee is to have some orange, which is red and yellow, and add a little bit of blue. And if you add that blue in slowly, it will slowly turn brown. So painting my coffee brown. And I'm making a really pretty light pinky purple. And this is gonna be the fun color that I'm gonna use for my cat's paws. So again, this is red, white, and blue. And I'm going to fill my cat's paws in with this pretty purple. Almost makes the cat look like he's wearing little mittens, little gloves. There we go. And while I have this pretty pinky purple color, I'm actually gonna do my cat's ears and my cat's nose with the same color. I added a little bit of white to it just to make it a tad bit lighter. And I think this is the perfect color for cat's ears and nose. I'm gonna wipe off my brush, wash it off, dry it off, and I'm ready for black. I'm gonna put the black in the middle of the cat's eyes, those are the pupils. There we go. And once I rinse off my brush, I can start adding some cute little stripes on this cat. Just go down the sides of the arms and kind of pull the paint out into little stripes all down our cat's arms and the sides of the body. This also is a nice highlight on the outside of the cat. It really makes it look more three-dimensional. And I gotta put some white in our coffee that makes it look like it's liquid, like it's moving around. Some stripes on the tail. And some stripes and highlights on the cat's face. All around. I'm finishing up with a nice highlight on top of the cat's head. Putting on some little black dots around the mouth, on the cheeks and my white sparkles in the eye, and white shiny nose, little white highlights on the nose. And now I'm gonna start putting some snow in the sky. Since this cat is wearing a scarf and drinking some coffee outside, I thought we needed something wintry in the background. So I'm using a very small pointed brush to put little white polka dots of snow all over the sky. Now, if you don't wanna do big snow um, in the background, these big polka dots, you can always use the wrong end of your brush dipped in white paint to make teeny tiny little polka dots of snow. So we're gonna go ahead and fill in the whole background with snow. Our snow done, we are ready for our outlines. You can do this with paint if you have a very small brush or what I'm doing right now is I'm working with Sharpie to do all my outlines. It's so easy to do, you just need to make sure that your paint is totally dry before you Sharpie on top of a canvas. And it really makes the animal pop. So I go ahead and Sharpie every little detail. And it looks just like black paint. No one will ever know that you use this Sharpie trick instead of black paint. All right, I'm almost done with my Sharpie, just getting the ears on. And now I'm ready for some white steam coming out of the hot cup of coffee. Just little wavy lines coming out of that. And also, while I have this white, I might as well put the cat's whiskers on. They are nice, long, white whiskers. Perfect. Thank you so much for painting with us today. Our cats and coffee turned out great. If you would like to comment below, we would love to hear how it went. Also, you can visit our social media sites. You can see the links in the description on our page. And if you would like to hit the subscribe button, you will be notified when we have more paintings to paint with you. I hope to paint with you guys again soon. Thanks so much for joining us.